Novak Djokovic has recently voiced his concerns about the current anti-doping regulations in tennis, particularly in light of the recent case involving Janik Sinner. Djokovic, a prominent figure in the sport, is pushing for changes to the rules and procedures, stating that the inconsistencies in how doping cases are handled have raised valid concerns among players about whether all athletes are treated equally. Djokovic highlighted what he sees as significant flaws in the system, particularly the lack of clear and standardized protocols. There are many issues within the system, he said. We see a lack of uniform and transparent procedures. I can understand why many players are questioning whether they receive the same treatment as others. The governing bodies of our sport need to take lessons from this case and adopt a better approach going forward. It's clear that changes are needed, and I think that's something everyone can agree on. The backdrop to Djokovic's comments is the recent situation involving Janik Sinner. Earlier this week, Sinner and the International Tennis Integrity Agency ITIA, announced that Sinner, the world's top-ranked player, had failed two anti-doping tests in March. However, an independent tribunal eventually ruled that Sinner was not at fault for the presence of the banned substance Clostebol in his system, accepting his argument that he was unknowingly contaminated by his physiotherapist. This case has sparked a debate within the tennis community, with several players expressing their belief that not all doping cases are handled with the same level of fairness. Players like Denis Shapovalov, Lucas Puy, and Britain's Tara Moore have pointed out what they perceive as a discrepancy in how top players versus lower-ranked players are treated when it comes to anti-doping violations. Moore, for instance, was suspended for 19 months following a positive test for Nandrolone and Bolden 1 metabolites in 2022, before she was eventually cleared of any fault or negligence in December. Djokovic echoed these concerns, suggesting that the outcome of doping cases might be influenced by factors such as financial resources. Many players, without naming anyone in particular, as I'm sure you're aware, have faced similar situations but with different outcomes, Djokovic remarked. This raises the question of whether the availability of funds plays a role. Can a player afford to hire a top-tier law firm that might represent their case more effectively? I don't know if that's the case, but it's something we need to collectively look into. The hope is that the governing bodies will take the feedback from players seriously and work towards creating a more equitable and transparent system for handling doping cases. Djokovic's call for collective investigation and reform reflects a growing sentiment within the sport that changes are necessary to ensure fairness and integrity in tennis.